Here we have an electric circuit question. Consider the circuit below when the switch is open. So here's the switch and it's open and a voltmeter is connected across the battery. It reads the EMF of the battery. That is correct. Remember that if you walk into a shop and you go buy a battery, let's see you go buy like one of those typical double A energizer batteries, for example, if you look on the battery, it should say 1.5 volts. That is the EMF. That is the maximum voltage that that battery could ever give you, okay? So if you plug it into your circuit over here and the switch is open, that means no current is flowing, then the battery should be reading 1.5. So the battery, the voltage should be the EMF, okay? When the switch is closed, ammeter A1 is five amps and ammeter A2 is three amps, okay? So the first question, define EMF of a battery. So there's two definitions you could use here. You could say that it is the voltage across the terminal or terminals of a battery when no current is flowing, okay? So if you had to go to one of those batteries in the shop, let's say you walk into a shop one day and you go open up one of those batteries and you just take a voltmeter and you measure it, it should be 1.5 volts because no, it's not being used in an electrical circuit. So that is the best voltage it could ever give you. However, when you put it into the circuit in real life, it usually goes down a little bit and that's because of something called internal resistance, which you start learning about in grade 11 um, and 12. Right, so the other definition you could use, remember what voltage, well, we, we know this triangle over here, right? Um, the VWQ triangle. And if you get voltage by itself, it's W over Q. So what is voltage? Voltage is the work per um, charge, okay? It's work or energy per charge. So one of the other definitions is to say that the EMF is the maximum energy, which is W, that a battery can dissipate, or you can think of that as the word um, can provide, can dissipate per coulomb of charge. So we know that voltage is the amount of energy per coulomb of charge, but if you want the EMF, well that is the maximum that you could ever get. Remember I told you, if you go into the shop and the it says 1.5 volts, that is the best case scenario. That is the maximum that that battery could ever supply. But in real life, it'll probably be a bit less as soon as you switch on your circuit. Okay, so that's just the definition Go make sure you understand those. Now the next one, calculate the effective resistance of the combination of two resistors. So we need whenever where they want us to calculate the total resistance, we need to check are they in series or are they in parallel? If they are in series, then you would just add them together. So then you would say that the total resistance is just gonna be R1 plus R2 plus, 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 plus. But when they are in parallel, you have to calculate it a little bit differently then you're gonna say one over R is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2. So we're gonna say one over six plus one over four, okay? So you're gonna go type this on your calculator. And so we're gonna end up with one over R equals to five over 12. You then flip this side and you flip this side and so you end up with R over one equals to 12 over five, but R over one is just R. And so if you type this in your calculator, it's 2.4 ohms. So 2.4 ohms. Okay, and this question says, what will be the reading on ammeter A3 when the switch is closed? Okay, super easy. Think about this, guys. We've learned that, okay, so this part over here, all of this up to there is series. That is series. And then what happens is that the electricity has to split. Some of it's gonna go this way, up to there. And then the other, the remainder will go this way, up to there. And then it will combine again 
to continue into that part of the circuit. So everything in red is the main series part of the circuit. So everything in red will be 5 amps, just like we see here, 5 amps. Okay. So when you are coming down here, the electricity has 5 amps. Now they tell us that 3 amps is in the blue, so 3 amps went that way. So how much do you think went through the green? Well, if you had a total of 5, 3 amps goes this way, well then obviously the leftover would have to be 2 amps that would go through here. And so A3 is going to be 2 amps.